Hello, my lovelies. How are you? Um, I'm back <laughs> after a month off diving deep into the ocean and traveling up uh, further up into the middle of Brazil and spending some much needed time with my son who arrived after me not seeing him for 18 months. We've been uh, diving deep, like I said, into the ocean. We've been off sailing and just generally getting to know one another again. It's been interesting because as I've got to know him, I've got to know myself. Um, and, you know, we've been catching up what he's been achieving, what I've been achieving, and even though we speak all the time. Um, being in each other's company has been really, really interesting. And um, I've just shared with him something um, that's just happened. This live was live. This is a Dorney live. Um, was going to be on a slightly different subject, but a similar subject. It was about how we interact with people and how we lead others um, and how we put a we put the spotlight on each other. Um, and this morning I noticed I'd had a friendship request uh, or a connection request on Facebook. And I thought, oh, well, you know, I have rules. I don't let everybody into my space. But this woman, we had a lot of people in common. She has a radio show, etc. And she came in and I was like, oh, you know, thanks for the request. Um, and uh, she wanted to book... Uh, 15 minutes she wanted me to drop everything and just give her 15 minutes and I was like, oh, sorry I'm really busy today but here's my link and she goes well I'm not I don't want to book him via your link I don't want all you spam your spam and everything coming into my I said well I don't spam I just use a, a booking link first warning sign <laughs> we should listen to these warning signs this is where I was going with this but it was just interesting that I was going to be talking about warning signs and red flags and this showed up. Um, I thought, oh, you know, it's all written. It's, you know, it could be taken out of context, but I, I kind of knew. Um, so that was the first one. So I'm just looking at a boat out there on, on the Atlantic. I can see the Atlantic. I would be able to show you, but the lighting wouldn't be great. And um, <laughs> and then I've been having some dodgy internet. I sail around the world, you know. I'm on islands a lot of the time. I don't have a recording studio set up in my backpack. So I sent him a message saying, look, we're having some dodgy issues with internet at the moment. Is it okay if we could do it by messenger rather than Zoom? <laughs> I get this response. Well, I need to be able to vet you, blah, 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 blah. My time is valuable, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, everyone's time is valuable, darling. <laughs> like, but if you want to do it when I'm in a different location, that's fine. You know, I'll be more set up then. <laughs> and then, she goes, I don't think so. Like, she's shouting at me in her messages. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you, woman? <laughs> and then. She blocks me, and I'm like, oh my day. So not only has she gone on about how valuable her time is, but then she was like bragging about all these A-listers that she has and how she's so sought after. And I was like, oh my God, your ego stinks. <laughs> now, don't take yourself too seriously, you know. And then... I had the lovely Sprite message me. There's been a mix up and so she's like, oh, should we do it again? And I'd sent her the same message, you know, internet issues, completely different response. And this is the thing, when we're traveling, um, you know, when we're going about our daily lives, we meet different, lots of different people. And it's the interactions that people have with us that, um, and how we respond to it that actually didn't, <laughs> I'm just baffled by this woman. She's hilarious. She's giving me a giggle. Anyway, I was like, oh, how rude. 
But how we deal with things that come up make a real difference to how we show up as a, in our preeminent self. Now this lady was obviously, you know, whatever was going on for her. <laughs> I do still find it really quite interesting that she's throwing a two-year-old tantrum <laughs> and blocked me. <laughs> oh, that really has tickled me. Like, you know, goodness gracious. Just <laughs> see now I can be really offended. <laughs> oh, compose yourself, Dawn. I do. I find it hilarious. And what I always can say is the cultural differences on how people respond to the relationship that I have with my son. <laughs> because we like someone's like you're just like friends. I was like, yeah. Well, I kind of know. He's my son, but yes, we do have a good relationship. You know, we, we have, we joke and we have very honest, frank conversations and he's told me I need to work on my conversational skills a few times. <laughs> Having been so used to being on my own, things just come out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, thank God for that woman. She's really given me the giggles today. <laughs> but again, what's also really interesting is when I give him my card and say, right, well, can you just go and get something? You know, or he's paying for things on his card. People are just looking at me, would you like the receipt? I'm like, no, I've not paid for it. He has. People like, and it's really interesting how people respond to the relationship between mother, uh, mother and children. But also, I mean, he's a very handsome young man. I mean, we were also having conversations about, you know, older women, younger men together. You know, I read an article the other day um, about how a 53-year-old woman was dating a 21-year-old guy. And I was like, oh, no, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, no. No, that's just my personal choice. I'm sure women get a thrill out of being with a younger a man half her age it's just not for me I, I, I'd just be like oh no I'd be like kissing my boy my, my son's friend no I couldn't do it you know and I couldn't be with a much older man because it'd be like kissing my dad I just no um, but that's just me you know I'm very fussy about teeth as well <laughs> and manners obviously but we're seeing so many people get offended by so many things these days. It's like, really? Do we have to be so offended by everything these days? Is that really being our preeminent self? Are we really going to allow things to get us so wound up and so angry and aggressive and, and rude? <laughs> blocking everybody just because their internet's not working properly <laughs> or are we just going to say that's just that person's view it doesn't make them a good person it doesn't make them a bad person it just makes them them and <laughs> there are some energies that i don't want to be around and you know if there are certain things that you believe like you believe it's okay to go around beating people up and being really aggressive to people i don't want you in my space i think you've got some healing to do but how we respond because my son is like mom do you always have to give feedback i was like yes i do for example we were on an island or was it on the coast we were somewhere recently in the atlantic rainforest and there was a thai restaurant we went out for and as we walked in, they weren't open for another 10 minutes. But no, you need to leave. We're not open for 10 minutes. Doors are wide open. Everything, tables are laid. I was like, oh, we can't just sit here and just have a drink. No, you need to leave. <laughs> I was like, oh. And now I was like, oh, it's not very good customer service. Surely if I just sit here, I can just have a, a glass of something. <laughs> um, another couple came in. They told them to leave as well. And I was thinking, oh, gosh. This is really quite short-sighted, really. You know, just a glass of water or, you know, uh, a glass of that iced tea from over there or what have you. And I said, you know, like, I just wanted to let you know that 
that um, I now know now I now don't know if I want to stay here or not because if you're being if you're shooing me out the door um, instead of just welcoming just to sit and just wait another five ten minutes that's not in alignment with me um, and she was like, oh, and so I had, you know, back and forth, and my son's like, oh my god, mother, you know, we're having a nice chat, you know, women together chatting away, mummy's giving feedback yet again, but, and I said to him, but the thing is, Brazil has got an incredible opportunity at the moment, Brazil is a very beautiful country. It's very hot. It's full of palm trees and beautiful islands, gorgeous beaches. It's very, very cheap. Um, great value for money, should I say. And with the, so many borders around the world being closed, but Brazil's being open, people are wanting to travel from Europe and from America to come to Brazil. But if the Brazilians don't know how to deal with the people, who are still in business and traveling and people who expect a higher level of service then how are they going to remain in business how are we responding are we saying oh well you know could I just sit because now I kind of don't feel like I'm welcome you know and this is how it is and we had a really lovely chat the meal was delicious by the way we did stay um, and they were really grateful and the lady came up she goes oh thank you so much for letting us know it's really great that we have this feedback you know and this thing I do give feedback because that's how we grow um, and the gratitude that I've received from places for giving feedback um, and the gifts which have been really lovely and very surprising um, really show as in um it really shows how much we are of generous spirit um because feedback doesn't cost anything now i could go on social media and go about what she know that that restaurant was really rude blah, blah 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 but that's just not my style i will give a good review but i also like to give people the opportunity to make amends or just to give a have a learning opportunity or to understand where I'm coming from and there's no point getting angry and deleting people off Facebook. <laughs> What's a really strange thing to do? I'm gonna be giggling about that for days now. <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> Highly conscious, not so conscious. <laughs> I'm not going to drink anything because I'm going to spit it out. <laughs> Try not to. Hang on. Oh. But yeah, how we respond to things. And it's how we've responded to this whole thing that's going on in the world right now. Have we responded in a way that's got us curious and creative and diving deep into what can I achieve in this moment? Or have I just gone, oh, I can't do that now, and <laughs> thrown a two-year-old tantrum, or a Kevin moment. But how we respond, we can either be truly preeminent, or we can be a sulky teenage tantrum-throwing toddler. <laughs> I will leave that with you. I hope you've had as much of a giggle as I've had. <laughs> But yeah, do you give feedback? Oh, do you give feedback? <laughs> and what would you have done in that situation? <laughs> because your time is oh so precious. And you're oh so important with all your A-list guests. <laughs> Love, we're all A-listers in our own world. And you know what they say? Today's news is tomorrow's chip papers. Okay, so they don't serve chips in the newspaper anymore, but you get the drift, right? And um, they're probably sweet potato chips or polenta chips these days rather than potato chips, but still. I'm in a really funny mood. But welcome to 2021. <laughs> and 
Enjoy the latest issue of the House of Preeminence. And if you have not yet subscribed, what are you up to? Seriously, ladies. Time to get subscribing to the magazine. <laughs> Much love to you all. And I will see you on the other side. Ciao, ciao.